to deploy and interact with Google Drive assignments. Here I'm in Dynamot teacher mode. Dynamot is going to add a, an assignment. This is going to be homework number four. And the directions are in the spreadsheet that I will be attaching using Google Drive assignments. I've already installed the LTI to this particular course. <coughs> homework 4, Spreadsheet, is the homework. I'll set that to be due later today. Maybe 10 points, give it a category. And when I create this, it'll create a copy of the file for each and every student. What the students will see when they refresh Homework 4. My document. And Angelina now, the student, Angelina is a student, Angelina can now see the document and start putting in answers. She can either enter her answers here or she can click on the edit button and open the assignment into its own tab. Either, either one will work. But I'll go ahead and work back here within the Schoology frame. The level of measurement for the data, Angelina can type that in. The sample size will be equal to the count of the data. Through there. And as Angelina is working, if the instructor is online, I switch to the instructor mode. Here I'm in the instructor's mode. If I click on homework four, I will see that under in progress, Angelina has opened her document and I can see the work she is doing on that document. If I open this into its own window, I can actually interact with the student in real time. This is useful if you happen to be online at the same time. Angelina can, if she's open, you can see here, this T is Dinamut, the instructor. This means that her instructor is online. If she clicks on this box, a chat window comes open and she can say, how do I calculate the mode. Now this only works if you both happen to be online at the same time. She presses enter and the teacher on his side will see one unread message. How do I calculate the mode? I click up here and I can say use equals the mode and then your data range that you have to use. And so I can respond to Angelina. The other way I can interact is an asynchronous mode and that is I can interact by posting a comment here uh, use the mode function when I make a comment in the document as I just did that actually goes to her updates tab of her Gmail in real time so it will sit in her Gmail so if we're not online at the same time a comment made in the document will stay there until she clicks on resolve. So from her side, she'll see that there is a, a comment that's been made. There's the comment. She can see the comment here in the spreadsheet. She can also see the comment, as I mentioned, in the updates tab of Gmail. So it appears in two places, here and in her Gmail. So she can say, okay, I've resolved that. Um, and that resolve will then actually come through to the updates tab of Dinamet's Gmail. 
So it's really nice for both synchronous and asynchronous communication. And you can put that in here. And uh, let's say we leave the last two blank. And uh, Angelina goes ahead and submits it. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll go ahead. Gee, I've got somewhere to go. Angelina has submitted her assignment. Now, over here on the teacher's side, let me uh, drop that, come back here. It will appear under my submissions tab. It'll no longer be under my in progress tab, by the way. That's just a leftover from where we just were. So it's under submissions. And now I can see your assignment. I can open that into a full window if I want to have all of the tools available to me of Google Spreadsheets and the menus, comments, whatever I need to make, I can open that document. Uh, but for now, I'll work for, with it within the uh, Schoology frame here. And I can see she didn't do two, so I can put in a comment here um, that says, uh, uh, please complete these last two problems. That will then go to her Gmail as an, as an update in the update tab. It won't actually appear anywhere else unless she's in the spreadsheet at the time you make the comment. So she would have to keep an eye on her uh, Gmail updates. I can then unsubmit the assignment. That returns the assignment to Angelina. Angelina, when she logs back in, would find that homework four is there waiting for her in the My Document folder. How would she know to do this? She would have to be monitoring her Gmail Updates tab to know that a comment has come in. Updates do not pop a notification in Gmail, which is actually useful because otherwise one would be flooded with with uh, notifications on your smartphone. But it does it does pop a note into your updates of Gmail. And so she could see, okay, I've got to do these two problems. I've got to get the median put in here. And she can put in the median. And she can put in the average here. And complete her assignment. And then she can now submit that assignment a second time and submit it back in, and it's done. The teacher at this point will see that her submission has been submitted. He can take a look at the answers, and then he can click on that, put in the score, put in a comment, he wants the student to see the comment, he's got to check there and say save. By the way, rubrics can also be used for grading. So that's a bit of the flow of setting up, distributing, um, uh, unsubmitting, and then finally marking a Google Drive assignments assignment.